Yo, what is good, everyone? Before I start this video, let me just fix my hair really quickly. Whoa, shit, do you see this? I hope you appreciate the new haircut. I haven't been able to go to the barber shops for almost like six weeks just because of the coronavirus, but fortunately, I can now, so yeah, looking good for this video. Let's continue. I feel like there's a lot of misconception about what is best between lean bulking and dirty bulking, so I'm going to cover that in this video. Plus, I'm going to actually go over a study. Studies in general are a lot more better to listen to compared to like anecdotal evidence, which is basically like just one guy saying, oh, this worked for me. But I mean, you, we can't take every study and be like, okay, this happened to five people. It's going to happen to every people in the world. So we still have to be critical when it comes to studies. But at least from a lot of studies, you can learn a lot from them. And the study I'm going to be covering now is a study that was published in 2012. It's actually a Norwegian study. I've known about this study for like, a year now but i actually didn't know it was performed in norway and by norwegian athletes so i mean so i'm norwegian as well so that's pretty cool i feel like i don't need to say this but i obviously don't have any bias to this study just because it's norwegian i don't care i just want the facts so the study lasted for 8 to 12 weeks and the point of the study was just to figure out if you actually need a big calorie surplus to gain muscle or even if it will help any at all it's pretty simple to explain the study there were two groups Group B ate 500 calories more than group A and they trained like the exact same way. Every other variable was the same. The only difference was the calorie surplus. And after the eight to 12 weeks when the study was done, group B, the ones that ate 500 calories more than group A, they saw insignificant amount of muscle gain, which means that they saw a bit more muscle gain, but to a, such a small degree that it doesn't even count in the study. So no real changes when it comes to lean body mass, but when it comes to fat, you know what happened? The group B, the group that ate 500 calories more, they actually gained almost four times the amount of fat. And you know, that takes a while to get off. Like just think about that for one second. They gained the same amount of muscle mass, but they gained almost four times the amount of body fat. And they also tested the strength differences. And what they saw was that Group B, the one that ate 500 calories more than group A, they got slightly more strength and you probably know this as well if you're gaining more fat and if you just weigh more in general, it's easier to be stronger. So that's the reason for that, but it wasn't like a big difference. So don't think that if you're going to dirty bulk, you're going to add like 15 extra pounds on the bench press. Nah, it's just going to be like a very insignificant amount, but it will help. So that was pretty much the results and the conclusion to the study was that if you're eating in a large calorie surplus, yes, it will help muscle growth in like a small degree. And it sounds good on paper, but you know, in the real life, in practice, it's not better at all because yeah, you might gain like 1% more muscle. But after gaining that 1% more muscle and gaining a ton extra body fat, you obviously need to cut either more frequently or longer or harder, meaning like in a bigger deficit. So that just kind of goes to show that lean bulking is definitely best for building muscle because yeah, you're going to gain 1% more muscle when you're dirty bulking, but you have to like waste a lot of time cutting down and leaning down and you could possibly like lose muscle when doing that as well but when you're lean bulking you can lean bulk for a way longer period of time because you don't gain a lot of unnecessary body fat but after we've taken a look at this study we can't just like throw dirty bulking out the window we have to be open-minded we always have to be critical no matter what it is even if it's like a scientific study so i'm going to mention like a few positives about dirty bulking because there might not be a ton but there are some the first one and probably the most obvious one is that you're going to be a bit more stronger so if you care about strength that's definitely i wouldn't say dirty bulking is the best way to go but i mean it will definitely help as long as you don't care about like aesthetics with it but like again i probably can't say that it's even better if you only care about strength because you can't dirty bulk forever then you'll get a beast like as fuck and die so you have to cut down but if you lean bulk yeah your strength gain might be a little more slower but you're not going to waste time cutting or at least you're going to cut for less time so in the long term lean bulking is better for strength but that actually brings me to my next point there is one circumstance that actually dirt bulking would be better for strength and that is if you have a specific date most people wouldn't do this for powerlifting just because they also want to have a low amount of body weight because that's like what's impressive and that's how you get records and stuff you have to be in the lowest amount of body weight you can and lift the most amount of weight possible but if you don't care about your body weight at all it will actually be beneficial so let's say that you and your friends are just wanting to have like a friendly competition everyone you have one month to get as strong as possible 
if you like really care about winning then you should probably dirty bulk because you will get bigger for that time event but you have to keep in mind that life isn't over after that time event so when it's done you have to cut down and that takes time so yeah in most cases lean bulking is best for strength as well in the long run but not in the short run so the last actual benefit for dirty bulking is that if you have a big appetite such as me you can I wouldn't say eat whatever you want but you can eat a lot more at least somewhat more if you're lean bulking so yeah you can just like have more fun with your diet eat more delicious food and be like a little bit more happier mentally and more sane and just to be certain that we're all on the same page let's just cover some benefits with lean bulking well first of all you can do it for a longer amount of time because you're going to gain body fat in a much more slower rate so that means that you can do it for a lot longer probably like at least twice as long so instead of like going up and down up and down on your progress you're more like slowly going up and like in a bit faster rate because you're never going to go down at least not as often i don't know how much i care about the last part but yeah obviously the health aspect you'll probably eat more cleaner food then but even if you don't it's still not good to gain body fat in a fast rate not only are you going to digest a lot of unnecessary food but your body is also going to weigh more so you're going to get out of breath more easily and that sucks for bodybuilding and powerlifting and pretty much for every sport and just general life so if you aren't sure about how many calories you should eat while lean bulking well here's the rule of thumb you should eat about a five to ten percent calorie surplus so that means if your calorie maintenance what you have to eat to like stay the same amount of body weight every day is 2000 calories and you add 10 percent that's 2200 and if you're a beginner with good genetics you can at least eat in the 15 percent calorie surplus because you're going to gain muscle faster so you kind of need that but on the other side if you're a very experienced lifter you don't need any more than the five percent surplus because you're not going to gain muscle in a super fast rate so for most people eating the 10 percent calorie surplus for some experienced people 5% and for some beginner people 15% but most people 10% calorie surplus. And what I have to eat to maintain my weight is 2500 calories so that means if I was going to add 10% that's going to be 250 calories so my lean bulking calories are going to be 200 and 7500 what the fuck so my lean bulking calories would then be 2750 calories so let's do a quick summary and by the way this study that i mentioned in this video is going to be in the description so if you don't believe me or want to check it out feel free to check it out so group b the ones that ate 500 calories more than group a they gained the same amount of muscle mass but they gained almost four times amount of body fat so yeah definitely not beneficial so that is why lean bulking always will be better if you want to gain muscle we have one person they dirty bulk for eight months they get the same amount of muscle mass maybe like one percent more then they have to cut like for four months and they maintain all the muscle mass maybe they lose some if they don't do it correctly which a lot of people don't do and we have the other person who does lean bulk he does that for like twice as much for 16 months and he cuts for the same amount of time but he gains like a couple more percent of muscle when this guy is cutting and this guy is still bulking i hope this video made sense i hope you know that lean bulking is the best way to go at least from the evidence we have today i hope this video helped you out i would appreciate it a lot if you can like the video and if you haven't please subscribe to me as well it's been magnus bulking have a great day peace but not much at all so in the statistic statistics so in the statistic so in this so in the testiskist bruh <laughs>